I separated from my husband. We are in court and the rest is in God's hands. In summer 2022, Janet Jackson offloaded her stylish Manhattan apartment, located more specifically in Central Park West, for $8.8 million. While Janet currently spends most of her days living in London, England, she had owned her New York City place for almost 25 years, which offers three beds, 3.5 baths, and stunning views of Central Park. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. been famous since the age of 10 years old, it shouldn't come as any surprise to find out that Janet Jackson has lived in some of the nicest homes in the world over the years. Everywhere from Malibu, California, to a penthouse in New York City, to a townhouse half the world away in London, England. These days, Janet can be found living in London with her son, Isa, sticking close by her former husband, billionaire Wissam Almana, whom she met back in 2010 and then divorced a few years ago. Before we look at the lovely New York home Janet sold, we're going to quickly check in on a couple places that Janet has lived in recent years. After meeting businessman Wassam Almana in 2012, the two were married two years later and eventually had their son Isa in January of 2017. A mere three months later, their marriage was over. While still married, Janet and Wassam lived in a swanky Mayfair townhouse located in the heart of London, England. Unfortunately, the only pictures we really have of the place are from when Janet was moving out. Wassam is worth an estimated 820 million pounds, and one has to assume that the townhouse they both shared must be in his name and owned by him, since Janet was the one that moved out. Well, after moving back stateside for a couple of years, Janet returned to England in 2019 and has reportedly found another townhouse not too far from the home that she shared with Wissam. Much like with her previous townhouse, the only images we have of Janet and this new place are from when she was getting picked up outside of it. As far as how nice this new place looks on the inside, well, we can only guess, but Janet did share a recent photo on social media that shows how she was keeping busy with her son back when the quarantine was going on, building dollhouses with him. Like I said, really not all that much to go on, but with a net worth of close to $200 million, I can only imagine that Janet and her baby boy are still living in the very lap of luxury. In August 2022, Janet sold her gorgeous and chic apartment in Manhattan for $8.8 .8 million. She'd owned the condo since 1998 when she purchased it for $2.8 million, and it's located more specifically in the building 1 Central Park West, on the 34th floor with some of the best views in the entire building, overlooking Central Park. The posh apartment building is further attached to the Trump International Hotel, right at Columbus Circle and at the southwest entrance to Central Park. The stylish spread boasted 2,094 square feet of living space, three bedrooms, and three and a half baths. It also house a 28-foot-long L-shaped living and dining room combo area. Janet's apartment offered wide views of Central Park and the city skyline via floor-to-ceiling windows located throughout the entire place. An entry gallery leads to the open living and dining area, and elsewhere in the home, you'll find a library with wall of custom millwork, while the unit also boasts 10-foot high ceilings. You can also see those impressive views of Central Park from the kitchen, where there's also a dining counter that looks right out to the green grounds of the park. And you can also see the towers in Billionaire's Row from here. For the most part, Janet decorated her space with a semi-opulent and dark-hued decor to complement the floor-to-ceiling windows with those remarkable views. The kitchen is accessible from the living room, and it isn't massive by any means, but it is well-equipped, even boasting a washer and dryer combo stacked in a nearby closet. And then there's that dining area with that view. Building residents can enjoy five-star hotel services like health club access with pool and spa, maid and valet parking, a business center, and 24-hour room service from a high-priced eatery Jean Georges. Janet loved the sunny apartment. Apartment, but she hadn't lived there since 2019. Once she spoke about this space to the journal, saying, I always treasured my home's wonderful location and the breathtaking views capture the magic and excitement of New York. Stepping through its threshold instantly made me feel so tranquil and at peace. 
so many memories. Not too long after picking up that unit, Janet also bought this gorgeous home, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. The rumor is that Janet actually bought this home for her family, either for her mother or her sister Rebby, who are both said to reside in the state of Nevada. She purchased this property back in 2002 for around 520 k This home reportedly features 4,636 square feet. Unfortunately, that's about all we really know about the place, and considering it's the home to her family members, it doesn't surprise me all that much. Most celebrities like to keep their family as shielded from the media as possible. In Janet's case, I mean, that's kind of ironic considering how her parents did the exact opposite to her when she was just a child. But hey, I guess it's worked out for everyone. Before we wrap up this video, one of the very first homes that Janet ever bought for herself after her career took off was this stunning Malibu beachfront property located on Pacific Coast Highway. She bought this 5,658 square foot home in 1991 for $4.1 million, which I'm pretty sure in today's dollars is like a billion, but I might need someone who's better with numbers to double check that. Anyways, Janet would hold onto this property for a number of years selling it in the mid-2000s for $8.5 million, which means that she more than doubled her investment in the place. Before moving on from the property, Janet gave an interview with Prime Time that offered a brief glimpse of the inside of this home. As you've likely learned from this tour though, Janet Jackson is very private when it comes to her spaces and home life, so sadly that's all we have to go by. After looking at her Manhattan apartment, which she recently sold, and what we know about her other properties, that'll bring this house tour to a close. But before we go, let me ask you this. Would you trade in life in a condo in Manhattan that went up millions in its value to live across the pond in the UK? I mean, both seem like pretty cool places to live, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as what you liked or didn't like about Janet's properties. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!